This video will show the proper way to maintain your type MR98 relief or back pressure regulator. For type MR98 units, begin by removing the bottom plug. Inspect the external O-ring on the bottom plug. Lubricate and replace if necessary. Lubricate and reinstall bottom plug, then torque per torque specifications table found in the instruction manual. For type MR98 units, remove diaphragm assembly. Remove lock nut and remove diaphragm parts from post. Inspect diaphragm for rips, cuts, tears, and other damage. Replace if necessary. Remove valve plug guide. Remove orifice. Inspect for scratches, cuts, or other damage. Replace if necessary. Lubricate and install orifice. Apply the proper torque per torque specification table found in the instruction manual. Lubricate and install valve plug guide. Apply the proper torque per torque specification table found in the instruction manual. For all units, inspect O-rings for wear or damage. Replace if damaged with new lubricated O-rings. With diaphragms removed, ensure pressure registration hole is free of debris or obstruction. Reassemble diaphragm assembly and tighten lock nut. Reinstall valve plug and diaphragm assembly. Ensure raised surfaces of the diaphragm are facing toward the spring, except when only one metal diaphragm is used. In this case, the diaphragm should be facing toward the body. Reinstall control spring and upper spring seat. Lubricate the upper spring seat with anti-seize lubricant. Reinstall spring case. Install cap screws in crisscross pattern and tighten to proper torque values. Adjust control pressure as desired.